for a long time. The lower guard under the car is very big, and there are a lot of screws. I removed almost 40 or 50, and I was very tired at this time, I envy Japanese cars. This is really not equipped with anything, and it can be said directly by lifting it up. But sometimes from the point of view of shooting programs, in fact I prefer to hold up a Lexus. Hello everyone, welcome to watch Pumas Garage. This is the first program of the new year. This time we won't leave French cars. Let's take a new brand. I drove 1,600 kilometers of this car during the Chinese New Year. If we're talking about its feelings, let's take a look at its chassis. The object we are showing here is the hybrid version of this Warrior 3. So now let's take this car as an example to show the Warrior 3, which claims to be the best chassis of the new brands and see if it's true. Just half a day to finally tear it down. This kind of repairing car, or a car made in Japan style, particularly concerned about the protection and integrity of the chassis. The Japanese and Korean cars are very simple. It's lifted up and I can speak. So I took this chassis down for half an hour. I removed a lot of screws. My hands were smooth and tired. We removed this tire. The first of all is 255 40 R20, a P0 tire, which also provides a good foundation for the main performance of this car. Although well, you can also change the tire in the aftermarket, you should know that the cars of a manufacturer with a PS4 and P0 is far higher than that of a car with the Karma or ADV or some other brands. The brake disc is very really large by which it's very efficient to imagine it with a ruler. It should be a front row of 370mm, and the brake calipers are one-way double piston. We can see that the entire area of the brake calipers is also very large. We feel that the braking performance is actually talking about the piston from the friction surface, just to improve the full feeling. In the past, our few vehicles can really see that the front plates are very too large, but the rear plate is too small. Let's take a look at this wire, which is a typical gray configuration of an electric car. There's not much difference between the front and the rear brakes. The rear disc is also very large, and 360mm is not much smaller than the front. So the braking ability of the rear disc will be a little bigger. It's a big 3 piston caliber. The inner area of the brake pad is a little smaller than the other of the front row. But you can see that compared with few vehicles. The performance of rear brake of electric vehicles is much stronger. Worst braking performance, I think we can learn from what you can see in the public city. I know that is very strong after stepping on it. Nothing is brake perceiving, so it's very good. Although it's a solution from Abus, which called 2 bucks. So it's braking performance, if I am right. It should be 34 or 36 meters. The car with 2 tons to 3 tons. It should be very good. Okay, now let's take a look at the design of the chases. First of all, what we can see it is a big subframe. This ball is the cast aluminum. Lots of profile welding mode. You can see the topology optimization of cast aluminum. Do you see it? These are all like with topological design. It only has a stiffener where it is dressed. So this is a profile. To put it simple, it is a standard part. So the size of the whole subframe is very large. It is so large from the front to the back. Then the rotation of the whole subframe is hard connection with the body. Screws are directly connected. But we can see that the connection between the suspension and the subframe is through a hydraulic portion, which is more conducive to comfort. Now the design of the suspension itself, the suspension will look familiar to you, because this is kind of suspension of Audi. In fact, I don't think it can be denied that this car must have brought a design from Audi in the chassis or body design. In fact, its technology has some range to Cyrus or Huawei Echo M. Because this car is Warrior's first car, so it's actually does not a lot to push back or reduce from nothing. Just like the Lima 100% reserved Highlander, this suspension arm can also exchange. It seems now a shame for soon. And this car is copying Audi Q5, which is always a little better than Highlander. In fact, it can be seen that the lower swing arm is very large and it has a virtual keeping design. Which is often mentioned in the BMW 3 series. The first mention is that the swing arm is also split design, even in the position of keeping close to the ground position of the center of the tire. And this is not so dispersing to the direction of the road, road or the high speed trees road. So it's more stable when driving, but it's not completely perfect. It's just wondering that it will lose some roasting. 
Oh, this classroom will have no roses, which will always have something to do with the sign of this suspension. At the same time, we also see that the Ramsworn is also four cast out of number four. There are many parts of the whole cast out of number four. The most handsome part of this suspension is the air suspension. Because on the old model, in fact, only the Q7 will have air suspension. So this guy is actually to install an air suspension for you in a new brand. This suspension is very necessary, especially for new brands or new energy vehicles. Why do you find that the high pressure of all new energy vehicles is very high now? Because it's combined to reach 2.8 to 3.2. But most cars are 2.4 kbars, 2.4 and so on, and even 2.3 bar and 2.6, right? Why does the high pressure of new energy vehicles suddenly increase to 2.5? Because the vehicle weight has increased. So we have the same type of problem. The stiffness of the whole longitudinal direction of the tire actually deteriorates. A big problem. The comfort of the car will be reduced. In the past, our comfort depended on tire suspension and car seats. So now the contribution of tires is very small. So we need to make big focus about the suspension, especially on shock absorbing elements and damping elements. So this is also a public relations focus of the new energy brands in the future. That is, a large number of cars will have air suspension. So we're seeing air suspension and non-air suspension are absolutely two kinds of feelings. Another advantage of this double wishbone suspension is that its anti naughty design is very good. I can't help it, the microphone suspension is very poor at this point. So I complain before the one's breaking or accelerating will raise your head very often. At the same time, there's another point, the weight of this kind of car is very hefty in fact. Sandy not is getting worse. You know, before you had the same max machine, you only had to support a car of 1.5 tons and 1.6 tons. Now, you usually, max machine, you have to support a car of more than 2.2 tons. How much inertia of a 2.2 ton car? It's a very big challenge for the shark absorber strut and the deformation of the shark absorber itself. As far as the wall, this entire special swing on, you can see it is very strong. There's no way to do this because when the car becomes heavier now, pressure and impact force on the entire suspension will increase exponentially. Then let's take a look at the reinforced design of our subframe. This is a well-shaped reinforced beam. At the same time, this lump of thing above reinforced beams is very large. In the front cabin, this is a motor operator and this is the motor. You can see the logo of BYD in Voya. You should know that BYD is actually a car manufacturer to those loot. He has many business departments and now the more famous one is BYD Electronics. He does a good job. You see BYD's logo on your energy vehicles, don't be surprised. At the same time, BYD is now using a global producement method. In fact, when their business department supplies BYD, they also use the form of bidding. So it's actually closer to the style of modern enterprises. A little further is the range extender. You can see that the front of the car is really full of scenes. But this is really really limited. So you can see that it is an anti-tail steering motor. It's all squeezed together. In the shape of the motion trailer, probably should also be sacrificed for this space. And it is not practically convenient to replace it. So it's a difficulty of the extended stream vehicle really in the front cabin. The next brand is all designed for this car. The sword is very strange and twisted. It's a front mounted turbine. Because it has a heat dispatching requirement, so it's the turbine is front mounted. At the same time, after the front section of the lines 4 in 1, it takes a long distance to have a middle section. Then there's a mouthful that leads the salt to the back floor side. In fact, it's to make room for our huge battery. This is a totally missing battery, and it uses a surgical battery core. In fact, I remember that its battery power seems to be more than 40 kWh. The electric range is 140 km. I only charge it once during the use. Most of the time, I use fuel here. As for its beefy fuel consumption, I will talk to you later. You can see that the thickness of this thing is not small, and the whole size is very large. Then go back to its fuel tank. Its fuel tank is actually very small inside. In fact, its volume is not small. Its volume is about 50 liters. At the same time, we can see that the anti-collision design of the battery pack. Anti-collision design of the main driver has a little less buffer zone. You can see that because it is in short in the copper side, be a bigger buffer on this side. Look at the back, there is a very pleasant design of a big cost chassis. How big is the subframe? You can see that this is the size of a subframe in the back, and then the front one is so big. You can see the profiles are very strong. And then it's also a process called welding. Then the rear bush is now covered by hydraulic scale. The lower edge arm is not equipped with hydraulic bushing. So look at the front, and the front doesn't either. 
then you can see a design of each arm. I never talked about it in other reviews before. Each arm is actually a relatively good form of suspension selection for comfort. And it's an over constraint suspension. This suspension will actually bring a better ride experience. At the same time, one of our common forms is to install a spring on each arm. In fact, this each arm design is not quite the same. First, they design a spring setup and a spring at the random home position. But what is such an advantage? Some straw of layer spring will be a little longer. This work will be more delicate. I think this suspension is very expensive in terms of falling elements, short absorption elements, and elastic elements. But its short absorber is a passive, not a CCD. So I will give you one more knowledge point here. In the new energy era, we don't have to argue. Each of five connecting rows is coming. At present, the most common rear suspension is E-Type 4 Lee, which is a rear suspension like MQB and Tenga. It has a big problem. Lee has a cut arm. This cut arm is very long. Even though this car is extension range, but as for its EVE version, this battery may be true if it's a pure electric version. If your cut arm is still installed in this position, then the battery pack must have an opening, which is not suitable for a standardized position of the battery pack. It's time to have filing per person. At least each arm is also okay. But consistently what to install like for wheels turning, it's better to have a file links. So what is this? There are several colors of tubes. So this thing can be determined to be an air pump over the air suspension. In fact, if you address the height of the spring and the height of the car body when parking in a very quiet situation, you can actually hear the roll of the air pump when you sit. The back row, so the color lines represent the different position of the air spring. On the whole, I think this car is basically a level of 100,000 yen to 600,000 yen. And I have been working in the car company. A 3.0 version of the expansion behind the Q7 is just like this. A couple of solvents they adjust. This is the chassis adjustment. In fact, there are two things. One is an elastic element. The springs and anti robots. Second is the damper element. That is the scale set shock absorber. In fact, the form of the suspension is not adjustable. And then the suspension hard point is also set at the beginning. The chassis is the most interesting I think about the car. This is the end of analysis of the entire Voyager chassis.